Welcome to Solar for Dummies, starring me. Solar for Dummies. Dummies. Last episode, we barely scratched the surface on one of the most important topics, how solar panels actually attach to the roof. So I want to learn more. Hey, Ethan. Oh. <laughs> so basically, there's no one size fits all mounting system, right? Exactly. Different roof types mean different racking systems, and choosing the right one will make a world of the difference of how your system works and how it performs. Now let's go on the most common one, which is asphalt shingle roof. For this type of roof, installers typically use a railing system. We have some equipment here. Uh, the first thing we have is a nano uh, mount, which sits directly on the rafters or the roof deck. And then we have a bunch of sealant here, which will make sure it's watertight. After that, we put the railing on, and this is what the solar panels sit on. Now let's talk metal. Metal roofs are actually perfect for solar because they're durable. Here we have an S5 clamp and a Protea bracket which sit directly on the standing seam. No penetration needed and no leaks. Wow, that's so interesting. What about tile? While tile roofs are a little more complex, they're very much doable with the right equipment and with the right installers. For us, we use a Sunmoto top tile, which goes directly on the top of the tile. Typically, other installers may choose to remove tiles or place attachments underneath. Our system does take a little bit longer, but looks just as clean and lasts just as long. Thank you so much for explaining that, Ethan. Of course. No matter what type of roof you have, there's a mounting system match. It will keep your panels secure, roof dry, and it will last for decades. For dummies.